it should be updated now. Let's go with normal. Yeah, I think everything's fine. Right. If I move the window, is that going to break everything? Yeah. Okay, I'll leave the window exactly where it is. I'll need to look down here now. Okay. So, good job we did play Spark 1, because this is the uh, the character that we just met, Fark. Around the time I was born, one machine produced a virus that gave him control over all of the machines. This machine called himself Freom. I was given a mission, pretend to be one of Freom's machines and backstab him. And it was my creator who gave me that mission. Whoever he is, is still a mystery to me. The mission was a complete failure. The tag is correct, but the title hasn't changed. Right. Now it should do. Someone else, the person who gave me this name of Fark. Alone for me with nothing to lose, who managed to destroy most of Freum's forces. It's a shame I was made to look like him in every way, and yet I failed. Who really am I? Yay, everything's all set up now. Woo! So, hope you all enjoy a little bit of Spark 2, and maybe we can check out the third one for a bit as well. Memory system interpreter log V2.1F. Memory check complete. No signs of damage found. Warning! Medium levels of cis.anxiety on sectors FL. Reboot complete. Do we get another robot? Fuck. Dr. Armstrong. Oh, that was rather quick, if I do say so myself. Maintenance is done. But to be quite honest, I still can't figure out that body of yours. It's quite different. So I don't think I can do all that much. Surprisingly, it doesn't seem to be damaged at all. It's definitely special, that's for sure. Though, there isn't much need for a combat body anymore. Freem has finally been defeated. Right, uh, Fark, that's the name you're going by, right? I'm not very good at names. Oh, that's not really my name. I don't know what my name is. Spark, wasn't it? The one who gave it to you? He was quite the fellow. I hope he's enjoying that blank check. Do you know anything about my name? I don't think so. But maybe I could dig through your code. Yeah, that would be great. Isn't Fark already a good name? I don't know. The Jester, well, Spark, after he managed to... Okay. I guess this is kind of spoilers for the end of the first game, if anyone cared about that. Um, after he defeated Freon, he came down to the ground and told me what it meant. It's the word Faker mixed with his name, since we're so similar. Oh, that's why. Okay, we already knew that anyway. That's nothing to be ashamed of. Now, if you're ready, we can start looking right away. I, s I must say, I'm quite curious. Right, let's do this. First, you'll need to lie down in that bed. What are they going to do? Is that another Faker? Already, I'm quite impressed by the 3D graphics. They look really nice. Hopefully, the gameplay is good, too. I've seen some videos, and it looked really cool. So, okay, right, we've got a tutorial level first. Wow, look at this. Get to the goal. Move, jump, double jump. And some wall jumps to go with it. Oh no, what's the... Uh, press B or circle. Oh, right, okay. Cool. Wow, this actually controls really nicely too, wow. Press RT or R2 to dash. Okay, that's different to the first game. Use a charge, just a dash. Down dash, just a dash. Whoa, awesome. Attack an enemy to build up energy. Hold down the heavy attack button after it's released. Okay, there we go. Wow, this looks so cool already. I'm really excited for this one. Hold LB or L1 to block. Don't hold it down for too long because you'll overheat. Cool. 
It seems like a much more action-focused Sonic game. Stage complete. Here we go, level one, FM City. Whoa. Okay, wow. This is very different to the first game. They're the same. Cool, we got full camera control as well. And got a homing attack. More random things to pick up. We've got two different regular attacks. I'm presuming there's still loads of different uh, weapons that you can use. And again, awesome music too. Controls are just perfect. Look how look how much control you've got over him. Yeah, as far as I know, it's all made by the same people. All three games. This actually controls better than the Sonic game. That's that's crazy. Oh, I forgot to use the uh, the block there. Oh my god, this this game's just making me happy to play it. This is so cool. Sega should take notes. What was that? What was that? A score multiplier. Okay. Apparently the third one's even better, so I don't know what they could do to improve on this. Whoa, too fast. Try charge them up attack instead. Can I not hurt these guys? Maybe not. Oh yeah, they've got a health bar at the bottom. It is going down. I hope I get something good for fighting them. Just looks like a score multiplier. I'm not fighting them again. I haven't found any other weapons yet. I'm presuming you can get extra weapons. I don't really get the point of fighting the enemies if you can just run to the end. That's so cool. So cool though. I'm really enjoying this. Oh wow, we got a world map as well. Awesome. FM downtown. Let's go. Ow, ow. I need to remember to use the shield more, I think. I love how fast the uh, the attacks are as well. Did we get something new? Yeah, we got something new. Oh, what's this one? Do we have... We don't have different moves like the first game. I guess it's just the two attacks. Except that one charges up. Whoa, got like a rocket pack then. Ow! Seems like the homing attack actually is stronger than, than the regular attacks.
There's no lock on for the enemies, which is a little bit awkward. At least it didn't tell me about one anyway. Not quite sure what direction I'm meant to be heading in either. Is that a new thing? I found a floppy disk. Got art. Okay, cool. Maybe there's like a concept art gallery or something. Man, this music is so good. What was that? Multipli score multiplier bonus again. Can I get out of here? Ah. That way, maybe? Checkpoint. Right, what, what do you guys think of this game so far then, compared to the first one? You don't regret buying it, that's good. I told you that'd be fun. Kinda reminds me of, um... Sonic Robo Blast, just with a, obviously a lot more polish and a lot more modern. But kind of the way the, the camera moves and it feels a little bit like that. I like both styles. Use the D-pad. Oh, okay, cool, I can swap between them. If you like both styles. Cool, thanks for pointing that out. I didn't realise that was down the bottom there. Oh yes, good block there. Whee! Let's hope there's not an air meter. Is that something I've already got? I'm guessing so. Sonic Adventure 3. It may as well be. Seriously, if Sega could just make something like this and release it, everyone would be happy. They don't need to make something completely different like Sonic Frontiers. Literally, just make a fun, fast-paced 3D platformer with no weird gimmicks. I don't know why they're so scared to just make something like this. People would love it. I mean, these games have got really good reviews. That's that's all people want. You don't need to reinvent the wheel with every game. Seriously. Just, you know, make a prototype, get the controls right. Hey, that was from the first game. Does it still have the... It doesn't have the um, fire stuff like the first one did. Unless this is it. Now we've got a spin attack instead. Cool. And that is the end. Boss fight time. Here we go. Get a bit of a cutscene first. Nice, looks like you can do more than just run around and spout nonsense. Are you really here just because you want to know your name? God, you're pathetic. Where is the doctor? Somewhere. Now, will you be able to find him, of course? Also, I've got orders to kill you from Lord Freon. So, that's a thing. Freon? Oh yeah, before I kill you, I want to try out this little thing. It's just some robot I found lying around. You're such a failure, it might just kill you in one hit. Oh well. Guess this is the last time we'll see each other. Can't wait to never see your face again. Ha 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 ha. Rhino Dino. Let's go. Oh my god, that is very Sonic Adventure. Even the music. Ha <laughs> this is awesome. Yes. Oh, 
I should definitely put these games on the Switch. I think they would do really well on there. If Nintendo would let them. Well, okay. Compared to the first game, this bosses are taking a lot more hits. Ow. I've got to remember, I've got some other stuff as well. I can do this. Will that hurt him? Damn, not if he jumps in the air, it won't. No, maybe that's just for going further in the levels. Whoa, what? We got vocals too? Oh my god. This game is just blowing my mind. What the hell? Oh my god. Got some fake Crush 40 going on here. <laughs> How cool is this? Charging the attack up. I guess I can try using a different weapon. Let's try. Classic collector. I didn't really try this weapon. I think this is just punching and kicking a bit. Oh no, that, that's the one with that, like, motorbike thing. Come on, he's nearly dead. And the last one is... A really cool looking, like, transformer thing. Looks like a Mega Man skin or something. Oh my god, this game's so good! I'm honestly so impressed with this, this is insane. For just a little indie game that's only made by a few people, this is crazy. I know, why is this not more popular? It really should be. And we have a new character, Romalo. Hello, I'm your friendly little mage, Romalo. What? Who? Well, I kind of helped Spark defeat Freon. Okay, I guess if we played more of the first game, we would find out about him. I mean, after the doctor removed the first Freon virus. Anyway, now I'm disconnected from the net, so I don't think I'll get it again. I'm just here because Freon's at it again. Oh yeah, and I'm also here because of the doctor. I heard about the kidnapping. After all he did for me, I couldn't let it happen. Plus, I have a lead. Tell me everything you know, now! Alright, alright, jeez. EJ, the robot who captured him, is Freon's little lapdog. All I did was see him going towards Technoria City. That is all. Right, thank you. Sorry for the attitude. Right. To Technoria City, I guess. I don't think I like him very much. Another character, Astra. Yeah, well, we have to keep watching him. Things aren't exactly going our way, you know. Okay, but is he really a problem? Yeah, definitely. Considering what I got from Clarity, he could be worse than the big man himself. We can trust Clarity. All right, if you say so. Oh, and when we get to Technoria, can we go see the Tech Expo? Please, please, please. Okay, we'll go, but only for a bit, all right? Yeah, let's go. Let's go to the Tech Expo. Gloria Highway, Stage 3. They have absolutely nailed the controls for like a fast-paced game like this. In Sonic, I would be sliding around all over the place. Whatever they've done, Sega should just use this engine for the next Sonic game. Honestly, this feels perfect. 
Look at that. You just stop. You don't slide around all over the place. You've got a boost that's not, like, crazy overpowered. It doesn't send you flying. Is there any point in them fighting them guys? Maybe not. I'm guessing later on you get stronger attacks to break shields and stuff. Oh, that's very Sonic Adventure 2 Mission Street. What was I saying about the good controls? Wow, this sounds like F-Zero GX music. Can I get all the way up there? Ah, uh, nearly. Damn it. That was my fault. I'll just try my luck then. I'll slow down a little bit. Let's play it properly. There's something down there. Is that a new a new weapon? Ah, uh, yeah, we got a new a new sword. Do we get to keep it? Yes. Am I just doing really badly on this stage, or is the difficulty shot up? Replace another one. Let's replace that one. Come cool, on, we got like a Halo style sword. Right, back on the highway. Let's get to the next section. Loop the loop! The first one so far. And it's not fully scripted like Sonic either. You can actually control yourself all the way around. Man, they've done such a good job with this. This is crazy. I'm so glad I bought these now. That's a better weapon. I can defeat them without taking forever now. This remind this music reminds me of the casino stage from F Zero GX. That would be something to, something fun to stream at some point next year as well. Some of the F Zero games. They'll probably be really fun to watch. Especially on harder difficulties. But yeah, I'm not streaming these games for a video or anything. This was just for fun. Although, I am so impressed. Maybe I should say something on my main YouTube channel just to get people to know about these games. They definitely deserve more attention. Hold on a sec, I think my dog wants to leave. Do you want to say hi to him first? Hold on. Where's the, uh, where's the cursor? There we go. Let's go on full screen for a sec. Skittles! Hi. Come on. Hello! Everyone say hi to Skittles. No, 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 okay. There you go. I'll go and take him out. I'll be back in a second.
Thanks. I'm back. Dog is happy. I'm happy. I've grabbed myself a copper bag to get through this stream. All right, so let's carry on. What is that? There's an angry door trying to kill me. Uh, do I need to find an attack that can use projectiles, maybe? If there is such a thing in this game. Seems like he's attacking himself by the looks of it. Oh yeah, I can just use that one. Is that hitting him from there? Yeah, easy. Ha! <laughs> you didn't think of this, did you, door? Can I charge it up? Okay, maybe they didn't think this through. I can just stand here and keep doing this until all his health's gone. I mean, it worked. May not be the most fun way of fighting, but sure, it works. There we go. Door dead. It was a weird boss fight. Another cutscene. Wow, they're definitely going heavier on the story in this one. To be honest, I don't really buy this guy as that much of a threat. Master, he's too small to be that powerful. A body like this cannot hold that much energy. Yeah, there is no doubt he will stand a chance. There is no way he will stand a chance. If this is what Freon wants us to do, guess we'll have to do it. That's what we will do. Right, can we go now? Sure, why not? But you got to remember who's the client. We're going to do this job right. You know, this has been a great fight. Fighting for the liberation of robots and all. It's really sad to see it come to an end now. I know, right? Try not to get too, emo too emotional. You maggots done. Look, Freon has millions of robots under his command rushing to kill Fark at this very moment. And you guys are just standing here as if you have all the time in the freaking world. This wouldn't have been so... This would have been so much easier with the virus. Get moving now! Or else there will be consequences. I guess that's true. Who's going to dish out the pain? You? Don't make me laugh. We don't take orders from anyone. What? But... You idiot, you don't know who you're talking to. Know your place and shut up. Go after him right now. Ugh. Call us traitors if you want to, I don't care. But I spot nonsense from a mile away. Freon merely made a simple request. It was easy enough, so we agreed to carry it out. Be a good boy now. Ugh. Hit that rock in anger. Look at those weird purple leaves. Stage four, Floria Plant. Why does that bit look like a Zelda dungeon? I feel like they could do more in this game to, um, hey, that's the same weapon I've already got. They could do more to make you stay in an area a bit longer, like have a reason to fight the enemies maybe. Because it does seem like you can just dash past a lot of stuff. Which I guess is good, because the point is high speed platforming. But it does seem like you can just, if you don't want to fight, you can just skip it. Well, there doesn't really seem to be a point of collecting these things. They just seem to be for a score bonus. But yeah, they've absolutely nailed the platforming aspect of it. Honestly, this feels even better than Sonic Adventure. The first one, which I would say has probably the best 3D Sonic gameplay in terms of controls.
I'm sure other people would agree with that as well. Maybe Sonic Adventure 2. Although I feel the controls are a little bit more... You feel like you're a little bit more in control in the first one. For some reason. It's hard to explain why, but... I just jump up there. Yeah, this feels great to control though. It must have taken them a long time to get the physics down. I don't know what engine they made this in. It didn't say, I don't think. I keep forgetting I've got a homing attack too. I should use that more. time. It almost feels a bit like Trackmania. You can use your shield to block stage obstacles and lasers. Okay. So, like that. I'm guessing so. It didn't seem to hurt me. I don't know where I'm meant to be going though. There's something down there. Score multiplayer. I'm not really sure what the score does, because it doesn't seem like there's any lives. I guess it's just to show off. Is there online leaderboards, maybe? Whoa, that's cool. If you hold the dash button down, you can, you can go on the ceiling. Uh, only if you start on there, I think, you need a run-up. They kind of did something like this in Sonic Adventure, but again, it didn't really work that well. So again, better implementation in this game, I think. There we go, there's a goal. That was a fun level. I like that. I don't know why it always starts at the beginning of the map there before it's been drowned. Now we've got another boss fight coming up. Do we have some more Crush 40 style music? Oh hey, look what we have here. Hope you're holding up, because I've got one more to go. Oh, congratulations on making it this far. Who would have thought a failure like you would have made it this far? It's only a matter of time until you get yourself killed though. What are you doing? You're just walking away. What? Get your metal butt back here right now or else. The doctor will die. Right, now have a little fight. <clears throat> okay, if that's what you want. Hey, look at Mega Man in the background. Okay, sounds like we've got the same music. Uh, parrying attacks with your shield is the best way to fight bosses. Okay, you can hold your shield for a couple of seconds by holding the left bumper. I don't need to. Let's uh, try using the hammer. Why is he not trying to block any of my attacks? Seems like a weird boss that's not really fighting back. Come on, do something! Oh, the vocal's gonna kick in in a minute. Yeah, there we go. When it reaches the halfway point, I guess. Cool. Am I going to try and parry him, maybe? Oh, 
Oh, no, that would have been really good if I'd actually hit him then. Are you not going to fly away again? Just going to let me keep doing this? Okay. Oh, no, I think my shield's... Oh, no, it's free charged. I thought it ran out then. It just didn't register. Wow, he's a, a bit of a sponge. Come on, that fight was kind of weird. He just stood there a lot. Yay, stage complete. I might change some of the pit slot of that thing in the background. Let's see what other options we got. We have. <coughs> I guess it's slightly after Christmas, but we have this Christmas one. Which it should be changing to, I think. Oh, no, it's gone back to my YouTube one. Christmas album. Hot. Apparently, that is a Christmas image. Okay, anyway, on to the next stage. Hey, there you go, now it's on the Christmas one. Cool, now we've got a snow level. A very, very bright snow level. Okay, we've got a uh, seesaw in the sky. I don't know where it's taking me. Just background where I've already been. I wish there was more stuff to try and pick up. That's probably my only gripe with this game. Like, in the first one, it doesn't really matter so much because you're basically just running forward, but this one gives you places to explore but doesn't give you a reason to go there, if that makes sense. There should be, like... Maybe little puzzles in the level to open up the next section or something. But maybe people wouldn't like that because it might slow the game down too much. So maybe they did the right thing. Who am I to judge? Times two damage, cool. Three times damage. Whoa. Bring on the boss. I don't need to fight the door. Oh, he can hit me in the air. That's not fair. Is that new? I think I've had that one before. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going now. Uh, I lost track of what direction I was facing. I haven't been in here. Got some more artwork. I haven't really found out where that artwork is yet. Hey, I found my way through. There's a checkpoint. Or is this where I just came from? I think I'm going back as well. Okay, this way. I'm finding new things. Must be going the right way. I 
want to see some speedruns of this game. They must be crazy. So extra damage multiplier. Score and attack multiplier. Score times 13. I don't know what the score does, but times it by 13 times good. Boom. That's a weird explosion. It doesn't really look like it does much. I think that's the first time I've seen an area blocked off by enemies like that. I think they should do that a bit more often. I'm going to try and speedrun the next level. Let's see how fast we can actually get through one. <clears throat> Unless it's a boss fight. It might be. Got these robots back again. Hmm, I like it. So this is where I have to fight him? Yes, it's quite easy to lose yourself in those mountains. This fart guy will probably take advantage of this abandoned castle. Dummel said he will reach the top of the main spire to gain sight of his surroundings. He should also be able to spot Technoria City from up there. Remember our strategy, take on the target one by one. If he runs away, one of us will be somewhere to catch him. If he's headed towards Technoria City, this is where he'll be. He's a very powerful guy, isn't that right, Flint? I don't know. He shouldn't be, but he isn't a mass production model. Like you, he's a custom model. There's only one robot that matches up with his code, though, and that is Freon himself. Maybe that's why... No, it has to be why Freon wants us to get rid of him. Well, maybe. But that doesn't mean they have the same power. Yeah, there's no way he is just as powerful as Freon. His body just can't handle it. Anyways, Master told me to come back quickly. I hope to see you again later. Say, before I go, have you really lost all of your memories? Yes, my last memory is a room covered in red. And, well, you two. I still couldn't really move back then as well. But you're right, I do have this feeling that I lost something. Something important. Same account as before. Are you really telling the truth? Yeah. I have no reason to doubt your claim, but Master is the sceptical one this time. For you to be a part of us, you must have a reason to fight. But you never claim to have any. You just do it. You should be flattered to get someone like me on your side, you know. Besides, it's not like Double is all that noble himself. We all know he's just here to have some fun. Don't get full of yourself. Just be careful out there, alright, Float? Castella Blanco. We're slowly getting closer to that city, I think. I'm not really sure why we need to be there, but I think we're getting closer to it. Weird music on this one. Checkpoint. Oh cool, we got a 2.5D section. I wasn't expecting anything other than 3D platforming. That was a nice little surprise. And we have some teleporting pillars like Sky Sanctuary. I thought it'd be something. Uh, oh, it's blocked us off. I could have skipped this bit out, I think, then. Makes me think of Klonoa when it's like 2D, 3D like this. In there. Loads of gems in there. <clears throat> oh, I thought that was going to open something up, but I could have just gone to the side. There is something down there, though. I've already got that. There doesn't seem to be as many different weapons in this game compared to the first one. Oh, 
I tried to jump over that then. I have no idea where I'm going now. Just follow whatever path it tries to take me on. And ignore the enemies because I can. It really wants me to have that sword for some reason. I would say I'll try the third game after, but I think it's very similar to this one, but I knew the first two were very different, so that's why I wanted to showcase these first two games here. And I'll definitely go back and play through the rest of them, of them both. Probably on stream actually, maybe next week when I get back from Wales I can uh, play through the rest of the first game. If you guys would be up for seeing the rest of that. Yeah. Cool. I'll do that at some point. I might try some of the Sonic fan games as well. Because I do have a big list that I wanted to check out. <clears throat> Maybe that can be another stream I'll, I'll do at some point soon too. But let's do a few more levels of this anyway before we call it a night. I want to try and write a bit more of my script while I'm actually here in the house. So I can use the books that I'm referencing. Do I go down there? The, young, the arrow was telling me to. I hope that wasn't a mistake. Or am I supposed to be running down it? Like, it's on it. No. Oh, that's the end. Okay, cool. Weird end to the stage. Looks pretty, doesn't it? Don't get too amazed, though. This scenery is just the work of holographic nanomachines, like always. Around the year 200, people just decided to build a whole bunch of theme parks. That year is also where a lot of us come from. Okay. Interesting year. But not me, or you for that matter. We just get to see their ruins. So what? Well, it's just a little fact I learnt from a friend. Friends? You have those? Who are they? It's nothing you should care about. They are kind of out there. Oh, I can't see the comment properly. Uh, just seen your IG, the N64 game. Not seen a single homebrew one before. Are you going to do a video on that? Yeah, I will do. It's pretty interesting. Let me go and get it. All the stuff he got me is in this box. I didn't really have a proper look at it, so let's... Uh, let's see. I think it is just uh, like a Game Boy emulator. And hopefully I have a way of playing it because it's come over from America. Yeah, I've not I've not seen any homebrew games on the N64 before, so that's really cool. And yeah, weirdly, it looks like they might have just reused an existing an existing game because it's just got a normal label on the back. So I'm not really sure what's going on there, but it looks nice. The label looks really really well printed. No, it's fine. Don't worry about stopping me. I was I was interested in that as well. 
and there's the the two games so there's the Game Boy version and there's this one which was an unreleased game based on Dune for the Game Boy Advance which sounds really interesting so I'll definitely check all of them out at some point I was really glad you sent them over to me for sure and there were some other bits and pieces in there as well and a nice letter that he wrote which was cool um, I assume your friends are trying to get to me you're different, you know that? What's that supposed to mean? Never mind. <clears throat> you can get a yes converter. Well, I've got a Japanese N64, so hopefully it can play on that. Because they're both NTSC, I'm presuming. So it might be easier just to play it on that one. Oh, we got a different style of boss fight this time. using the sword. I don't know when to parry her attacks yet. When that blong sound happens, I guess. Not with them styles, though. Ow! Okay, I'm dead. I think. Whoa! What the hell? She, like, turned into Ultraman or something. Oh, damn. Okay, I'm dead. Let's try a different style. Let's try using that sword it kept trying to give us. Whoa. Yeah, I can use that from a distance. It's kind of like a fighting game, though. What happens when I charge this one up? Ah, oh, really? Damn. Yeah, the music's awesome. Parrying attacks. I know I need to parry attacks, but you're not giving me any sort of heads up. Sometimes you are. Like then, how am I... How am I supposed to know? That one I can do because it flashes red, but these ones are obviously easy enough to dodge. Maybe I just need to stop spamming. At least, like the first game, the bosses are actually starting to become a challenge. Because they did start off quite easy. They just kind of like... Sponges. They still are, kind of, but... Okay, you, come on, you can see on the floor where they're going to land. So you can kind of judge it from that, I guess. Now she's going to transform again. Whoa! Where did he come from? Feels more like a Dragon Ball Z game or something now. This is crazy. What is that red thing on the floor? Is that killing me? Damn. Alright. Let's try again. Let's see what this charge up one does. I'm not going to let her hit me with them ones anymore. I'll just keep moving. I've got it this time. 
Ah, at least the first half. Ah. I wasn't moving enough to the side then. So. Yeah, the music's awesome. No vocal theme on this one though. Sadly. I thought all boss fights were going to have one. It always gives it that bit more of an epic feel when the voices kick in. Yeah, the soundtrack for this whole game has been absolutely fantastic though. I've been so impressed with it. I'm so glad I found out about it. I'm glad I can share that with, with you guys as well. I honestly didn't know how good these were going to be when I first downloaded it, so I'm really glad they far exceeded my expectations, honestly. The developers should be really proud of what they've made with these. Let's hope they got the sales they deserved. I hope it's done well for them. I mean, it must have done okay if they made three games. Let's try a different... Maybe the long range one. Damn. She's in the air as well, so I'm not getting many hits in. i just got to stay away from that red circle, I think, because that's what killed me last time. And try and parry more, maybe? Oh, ow, ow. Okay, yes, I did it! Yay. There you go. Boss down. Just as powerful as I expected. It really is a shame that you had to go and take it out on that poor girl over there. To be really honest, I'm not sure she even had any intentions to kill you. You don't know what you're talking about. She made her intentions clear right before we started fighting. If someone says they'll do something, that doesn't mean they will actually do it, you know. She was quite the soldier. While it's true that she was working for Freon, she wasn't being manipulated. She was merely doing this as a favour for a friend. But before any of this, she was actually a military cyborg. A cyborg? Yeah, she isn't like you or your kind. Once upon a time, she was just a regular girl. As far as I know, her body was only a prototype. She was discarded in, in a trash pile somewhere. The military assumed she was dead, but the machine kept her vitals alive. She was awake throughout the entire process. It was probably like being buried alive. Eventually, though, she was found by scavengers. It was only then that she was found by Double. Double? Is that one of her friends? I guess you can call him that. There's also Flint, although I've never heard a single good thing about either of them. They are dangerous. To be honest, I've never met them. They don't seem like good company, though. Anyway, that's all. Oh, I forgot to mention, the Doctor should be at the Central Plaza in Technoria City. I just thought you might want to know that. Thank you. <clears throat> Are we finally going to get to the city? They've been mentioning it since level 2. Nope, not yet. We're going to Shantoria first. To a little shanty town before the main city, I guess. That looks suspiciously like one of the <laughs> previous areas we've been to. Oh no. I don't think I'm meant to be there. Oh, that was lucky. I thought I was dead straight away then. Oh, more awesome music. This is like uh, White Forest on Shadow's story in Sonic Adventure 2. Well, that was the first thing that came to mind. Oh, I would love to stream the Sonic Adventure games as well. 
Maybe I'll do that soon too. I've got so much I want to do next year. Oh my god, how am I going to manage to do it all? I have to quit my job. It's the only way. I'll find a way of making money doing this somehow. Making enough money doing this. I mean, it's not impossible. People have gone full time uh, being gaming YouTubers and streamers and stuff. So it's not out of the realm of possibility one day. It may feel like it, but it's not. And that applies to anyone else who's streaming as well. Don't give up. Or making videos. I don't trust this homing, homing attack. It seems more reliable than Sonic's one anyway. The, uh, the homing attack in Shadow the Hedgehog, oh my god, that was horrible. If you think this one's bad. Oh, fine. Ignoring the stupid paintbrush guys. I didn't want to fight you anyway. Where are we going? Going through Tails' speed boost playing pads. Why are these enemies so strong? Am I using a really bad attack or something? That one seems a bit stronger. Oh, I think throughout the level you build up something that can increase your damage, don't you? I guess that's how it works. Something increases damage, something increases score. The other things in the... Not those capsules, the other kind of capsules. Oh, that was a quick level. There we go. Level finished. I think that was only like two minutes or something. Two minutes 48. Finally, we made it! Finally got to the city. I like the random posters on the walls. I actually have a Chow in Space poster somewhere. I'm not sure where it is at the minute. I got it for my birthday, I think, last year. Is this Data? Who are you and where am I? I'm Clarity. Ryom is back. You are the only one who can stop him. What is all this about? What are you? I am... I'm an intelligence made by Dr. Armstrong to stop Freon. I'm his last resort and I need your help. Technoria City, finally! Let's see whether it lives up to the hype. Cool. Seems like Twinkle Park. I'm just comparing everything to Sonic Adventure games. Oh yeah, I can just do the homing attack on the enemies, that's fast though. Bum, 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 bum. Cool music again. I want to find out who the musician was for this game. I want to find out everything about this game actually. I want to find out the developer. See whether they've made any other games before. See, you know. Are they industry professionals? Are they just indie developers? What's going on with this game? What's the story behind it? This is too good to just be a random person's hobby project. And if it is, I'm incredibly impressed. was a good attack, wasn't it? That's the one with the missile that you can ride on. I want to keep it for a bit. Seems like there's loads of different paths through the levels too.
Whoa, look at that. Definitely looks like an F0 level. Man, I hope Nintendo makes a new F0 game one day. I really can't believe it's been that long, as long as it has been. Have I just found a random garden full of power-ups? How do I get out? Hey, I found some more artwork. Should find out how to get to that. There's a spring. Let's get back on the path. Still only attack plus one, so I'm not sure which one. Oh, I'm going the wrong way, okay. Apparently I was going backwards. I think they've reused a bit of level there. Am I going around in circles? Oh no, there's no path down there. I thought I was going around in circles for a second. Let's see if we can find a different way through. Let's try up here. Yo, balloon number one. Hello, how's your evening so far? Come and join us while we're playing through some Spark the Electric Jester 2, which is a really awesome Sonic style 3D platformer that I only found out about recently. So I'm sharing this with everyone else tonight. I've been having a lot of fun so far. It's actually really good. Am I going the right way now? I can't tell. Doing good? Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm off to Wales tomorrow to spend... Well, a late Christmas and New Year with my girlfriend's family, so tonight was the last free night I've got. So I thought I would sit down and play something for a bit. And, you know, share my gaming with everyone else on Twitch as well. And I'm kind of lost. I'm not really sure where I need to go here. Somewhere down here, I'm guessing. Do I need to take a specific route, maybe? Let's try one I haven't been on. I haven't been on this one. Okay. I've already been down there. Ah! Oh, I was trying to look at the chat. Oh, I saved myself. Let's see what we're saying. Reminds me of that Casino 3D Sonic level. Uh, do you mean... Casinopolis, is it? I think. Is this the right way? That's not the right way. That's the right way. This is the first time I've actually struggled to figure out where to go on any of these stages. Okay, apparently I'm still going the wrong way. Or is that a trick? Am I meant to be going that way? And that's sending me backwards. Let's try and press forward. Whoa. Everything wants me to go this way. Okay. Let's try going up here. Okay, seems like I'm going the right way. There's some new speed boosters I haven't been on. Whee! I haven't been up here. Ah, I don't trust that. Ah, can I get up the top? Yes, we made it. I think we're making progress. This is a really long stage compared to some of the other ones. Good, they've been hyping this level up throughout the whole game. I'm glad it's paying off. Ah, 
Oh. Where the hell am I meant to be going? This level's massive. Why is he here to me? He's weak. It's these guys I need to worry about. Finally. Don't even get anything for it. Oh, I get something. I got some artwork. Cool. I need like an arrow or something in this stage. I Again, I don't know what, the, what direction I'm meant to be heading. Let's just find somewhere with some gems that I haven't been to before. This level's massive compared to the last few. Is that a new power-up? No. Still only getting the same few weapons over and over again. Another piece of artwork. Cool. Alright, this way's new. Another score multiplier, but still no um, attack modifier. I think they're the blue ones, but I haven't really seen many of them anywhere. There's another score one. Must be going the right way, we found a checkpoint. Although, the arrows on the floor look like they're going backwards, yeah. Thought so. Maybe that was a checkpoint that I missed before. Looks like I just need to try and get as high as possible. There's an attack one. Yeah, double double attack power. And some more hidden artwork. I'm presuming it's concept art, although I haven't actually looked yet to see what it is. Yeah, I'm going the right way, finally. There's the goal. I just had to go all the way to the top. Yay, level finished. That was a long stage. Nine minutes. Nine minutes 41. What stage are we on now? Let's see how many there are. It's always annoying getting lost. Right, there are 14 stages, does it say? We're about halfway through. We're about halfway through both the games now. I was playing the first one earlier. And we got about halfway through that one too. Uh, maybe I'll keep going until 8 o'clock, so I'll do maybe one or two more. You arrived as fast as a snail. Colour me impressed. Hey, 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 what's with all the anger? Can't you take a joke? Where's the doctor? Oh, I don't know. Maybe inside of your butt! Bring it on! I love these sort of rival characters in these platformers. Yeah, we got another awesome song here. My god, I can't believe how good this game is. I'm, I'm generally so impressed. Let's try one of the new attacks. Whoa. I quite like that one. Just drive the missile into him. I wonder if it carried over my times two attack from the other level. I don't think it did. Let's try the sword. That's a good one. Okay, you have to watch out for the the area that he's uh, 
He's gonna explode. Looks like that one you can parry with your shield if you time it right. Yes, now he's lying down. That was good. Ah, uh, get out of the way! Oh, that was close. Is he gonna transform now? We're halfway through. Whoa! Okay, yeah, that's the new part for this fight then. Lightning bolts to dodge all the way across the stage. Cool. Oh, I'm in the area! Oh no. Oh, it's okay. I've got loads of health. I'll be fine. Let's try using the missile one again. I presume that's doing good damage, let's say. Not much. nearly dead as well now. Right, one more hit then he's dead. Mm, it's close! But I want to do it all again. Yay! Did it. That was actually a really tough fight. That was really close. Let me go! Nope. Time to take out the trash. Hmm. Hey, you over there. You looking for this doctor guy, right? Man, I've killed plenty of his kind back in the day, but I've got a little surprise for you. The man, him the man himself said he would make an appearance. How exciting! What are you talking about? <laughs> the doctor is dead. Ah, don't be so afraid. Freearm is a good man. Now you better not make any wrong moves or he could just kill you too. Indeed, but there is no rush. You will die soon enough. Although I failed to get rid of the first jester with this new body, I am able to incinerate a whole city in the blink of an eye. I highly doubt you would be of any trouble to me. As a matter of fact, you never were. Now I know you are here because of your name. I have the answers you seek, Jester. I shall give them to you. This might come off as a surprise to you, but my name isn't Freon. My real name is Unit 1. And yours is Unit 2. You are my creation. You are my son. <gasps> no, it can't be. You knew? Didn't you? I didn't. I'm just as surprised as you are, believe it or not. That was quite the family reunion there. Shame our kind doesn't really get to have those. Flint, go now, but master, I should be the one. I said now. Why, there's no way. I'm surprised you didn't care about the doctor man. Didn't think he was so cold hearted. Shut up, this is none of your business. Whatever, man. I guess he's just some doctor. They die in droves around these parts. They just keep making new robots every single day. Or should I say, slaves. You don't care about that, do you? Ha! Boy, you're good. But you're right, I really don't. The fighting, the death, the destruction. Slicing through metal or flesh. I don't care which. It feels great. And you know what? I'm about to slice through some of you. This will be the most satisfying kill of my life. Bring it on, Jester. I don't know why. I'm having fun voicing these characters. It's not as light-hearted as it was earlier, though. Why does this feel like it's towards the end of the game when it's only halfway through? I wonder if I can stun him as well like I did with the last one.
He's making it pretty easy for me to dodge his attacks. Okay, halfway point. Now we. Oh, okay, wow. I'm sorry I said you were easy! Jesus! Oh my god! Okay! Oh my god, I want to get the OST to this game. This is awesome. Ah! There's the only way to get through that, just to block it, maybe. Oh yes, good block! Ah, and again! Oh my god, I'm scared the shield's gonna run out. Okay, he's stunned. Yes, we did it! Wow. First time, too. Wait, what? He's still alive? He hasn't got any health left! No! Wait, was that intentional? No? Damn. I was just using my basic weapon then. Let's try swapping back to this one. Getting him to his halfway point was easy, but after that, I don't know what to do when the whole screen turns red. Here we go. Ready? Do you just need to try and block it at the right time, maybe? Oh my god, I don't know! What, now? Maybe? I think that worked. Yeah, as soon as the screen goes red, now! And then do it again, before he attacks. And then I can go into the kill. Now what, though? This is when I thought he was dead last time, but... He's still going. Okay, now is he dead? He's lying down. That was weird. Why did he take some extra hits like that? <clears throat> I really wasn't expecting this. This is just a spare body. It was remote controlled. Okay, it wasn't a real fight. Why would he do that? I don't know. He went through all of this and for what? What did he do? We got a new job to do. Right, let's go. Okay, I still don't really understand what's going on with this story. It's a little bit all over the place. Whoa, okay. We're going all the way up there now. Okay. Ignore that whole area. Sure, Terminal Dragon. Here we go. Totally not Eggman's airship. No. Oh, we're we actually on a train. Cool. This is what Mighty Number no. 9 should have been. Ah! Why did I fall down then? Oh, I thought that would be instant death. You can dash after hitting a ring. Okay. Ow! Land on the roof? Yes, just about. This is a cool level. Can't get lost on this one either. And it looks like we're going up the wall. Here we go. Whee! And you can use those to skip over it. I'm definitely going to check out some speedruns of this game later. I bet they're insane. Uh, let me back up! Come on! Ah, oh, damn it. <clears throat> I might stay down here this time, see if this route's any different. Almost didn't make it. Ah! 
Oh no, I have not made it again. Let me up, let me up, let me up, let me up! No! Ah, uh, same point as well. Damn it. Ow! Oh, that was close. I almost died then. Not again! Really? Same place? Good job there's no lives. Ah! Right! Focus time! Whoa! Went too high then. Ah, easy. What was I struggling with? Ah, uh, that was close. I almost died again then. Uh, no, I can't go high enough. Can I get back? No! Oh my god, this level's challenging. Whoa. Perfect. Do I need to stay on the side? Do I need to go up? Okay. I don't think I did that right, but that works. Okay. Now we've got a boss fight. Kind of awkward boss fight. Oh, I'm not using any sort of attack. There we go. That's better. Just need to try and block at the right time, I think. Seems to be doing, like, slow motion bits, so I know when to do it. Ow! Oh, or not. I didn't know when then. I think I'm attacking it, even if I can't actually reach it, so I made it a bit easier. There we go, level complete. There we go, and I said I would stop at 8 o'clock, and it is 8 o'clock now, and I think this is a good place to end it. So, thank you everyone who joined me for both parts of Sparkly Electric Jester, Game 1 and Game 2. Maybe when I do my next stream... Uh, we can play again on the first game and see whether we can get through that one as we were about halfway through. So thank you so much for joining me, everyone. Really hope you enjoyed that. I had a great time. They were two absolutely fantastic games, and I definitely recommend you go and play both of them. As uh, Pass the Plunger found out, they are both on sale right now over on Steam. So go ahead and check them out on there. I think you could get all three for 15 quid, he said. So definitely jump on that while you can. Balloon one appreciate you joining me everyone else who was here throughout the stream as well thank you so much and i'll see you all again in the new year because i'm away now until until the start of january so bye everyone have a good new year see you all in 2023 bye